a narcissist uses many manipulation methods to distract people from the truth about who they are. Behaviour that the narcissist should be ashamed of. Their hurtful treatment of those around them as the narcissist exploits others to get their own needs met. Narcissists play so many manipulative mind games with people to distract people from the true intentions of that individual narcissist. This video is going to be about the narcissist and their word salad. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about the narcissist personality disorder to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with in your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you overcome narcissistic abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. When you approach a narcissist to discuss something they don't want to discuss, they can come at you with many different sentences that on their own make sense, yet don't match the topic of conversation or switches from one topic to the next. They communicate in a way that is confusing to you to distract you, leave you questioning more, doubting yourself, wondering what on earth it was all about. This is what is more commonly known as the narcissist word salad. Word salad is another form of the narcissist gaslighting by not directly denying reality. It's used to confuse your reality, to change your emotional state or your thought process. Word salad is when a narcissist might appear to be answering your question while not answering your question, while not taking responsibility for their behaviour. Seem they like they will communicate with you or compromise with you without actually having to compromise with you, without actually having a conversation about the things that need discussing with you. As no solution is found, when you bring it up again, they twist that they don't want to keep going over the same thing, they don't want to argue, they don't have time for that again, you're always bringing it up and never let things drop. So the narcissist can avoid talking about very rational things that need discussing. At the same time, you're left with endless problems and no solutions. Even when you try to sort it out for yourself, a narcissist will come at you claiming you've made matters worse. If you mention you try to talk to them, they'll lie, deny, shame and blame. How do narcissists word salad? One, that talking in circles when they keep repeating the topic they want to discuss and not what needs to be discussed. They keep bringing it back onto something amazing they did or something terrible you did. Two, derailing. They have a selective memory. Any mistakes they make are accidentally forgotten, never happened or your fault. Anything kind they did should be remembered forever and you should be eternally grateful. Anything good you did, forgotten, ignored or they'll take the credit for. Any mistakes you make are never forgiven, never forgotten. They are exaggerated and brought up whenever they need to be used against you. A narcissist will derail the conversation from the intended topic onto something that works in their favour, either guilt tripping you or blaming you. So you start defending, explaining or justifying yourself to them and no longer discussing the topic of conversation that actually needed discussing. Three, diversion. Similar to derailing, with derailing they take the conversation onto a whole new topic. With diversion, they're going to avoid talking about the topic at hand. They want to put the topic to one side and skirt around it, avoid it. Things like, you want to talk about this right now? You know I'm busy. You know I'm about to leave. Then when they know you're busy, they'll bring something random up to make you feel obligated 
to talk to them. It's those double standards, that self-entitled hypocrite and that double bind where you are damned if you do and damned if you don't. Four, deflecting. When they want to change the topic of conversation away from what they have done and talk about what you have done. To antagonise you, counter complaint, blame or shame you, insult you, bait you into reacting to them, bait you into defending yourself to them, justifying yourself to them so they can play the victim and gain the sympathetic attention from you about the things they've done to you. Something like, if you hadn't, it's always about you, isn't it? You make everything so difficult. Look at how you're acting. Go to them with facts and evidence and they'll come at you with, you've looked through my things, where's my privacy? I thought I could trust you. Five, triangulation. Another way of creating a diversion by bringing somebody else into the conversation. Things like your family thinks you're crazy, your mum thinks this, my ex would have done that for me, my ex would have never done this to me, your friend did this, my friend did that. So you begin to judge yourself based on the lies the narcissist is telling you about somebody else who has no clue about what the narcissist is telling you. Six, change the subject when they can change the subject onto something you did. What about last week when you, or future fake to distract you? Don't worry, why don't you go and look at holidays? What about those houses we keep talking about? They're either going to bring something up from the past to take you down to distract you from the present or they're going to bring something up in the future to distract you from the present. With a narcissist it's all to distract you from the reality you are living to either put the blame onto you or give you that false hope to breadcrumb you into holding on just a little bit longer with them. Within their word salad, they can mix all these tactics together at once until they get the desired outcome that they want. Or they fall silent on you. They can lie, deny, deflect, project, interrupt you, talk over you, blame shift and and use those passive aggressive sulks. Word salad often leads you into feelings of confusion, frustration, anger. Intrigue, guilt, fear, resentment, pain, disbelief, stress, irritability, emotional despair, exhaustion, making you more prone to becoming emotionally reactive, making you more prone to becoming confused easier, making it easier for the narcissist to bait you into reacting so they can move you away from the subject you approached, avoid talking about the things that need discussing, avoid taking any responsibility and the narcissist can set the environment so you react. As you know right from wrong, you're left working harder to please them. You're left apologising to them. You're left full of doubts and ruminating about what just happened. Narcissists use word salad as they feel entitled to manipulate those around them with a lack of empathy to care for how it affects those around them. They'll happily exploit people by whatever means possible to meet a need of their own. They believe they are special. They believe they are superior. They believe they are above others and they are arrogant enough to be unpleasantly proud of how they behave. What can you do? No contact is always the best approach when it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, if not limited contact and grey rock. Remind yourself not to go for closure to those who enjoy opening up your wounds. Retreat, rethink and only respond if you need to do so, such as co-parenting and court orders. State your point of view and leave them to it. Stand in your truth. 
Don't continue the conversation if they're trying to take you away from the topic of conversation. Don't defend yourself to their projection. Remember, what they say about you says more about their character than it ever will yours. Remember, they like playing these games. More often than not, playing these games are to get you going. And once they've got you going, they feel smug and they feel happy. Learn to step away from their games. You do not win with a narcissist by playing their games. The more you play, the more they think game on. The way you beat a narcissist is by stepping away from the narcissist and no longer supplying them, no longer giving them the attention or feeding them the attention that they believe they're entitled to. If anyone has any examples of word salad, please do add that into the comments for those reading through to help people become more aware. I shall add in the video description seven ways that narcissists manipulate the conversations as it just goes into different perspectives. In the video to explain why we need to stop explaining ourselves to a narcissistic person. It's okay to explain yourself to people who are willing to see your point of view, even if they stick to their own point of view, as you would be willing to listen to someone else's point of view even if you stick to your own point of view. However, explaining to a narcissist does not work. So I shall add that video into the description. I am currently full to one-to-one -to -one coaching. I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the description. There is also several online courses in the description. These are just step-by-step -step guides to give you more information of what you've been through and how to overcome narcissistic abuse. Thank you very much for listening and go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.